The people have been waiting long enough. The time is upon us. AEW's first and inaugural pay-per-view event. It is here uh, this weekend. AEW presents Double Double or Nothing. AEW. Wow, man. Ain't that some shit? That's dope. Congratulations to them. You niggas did that shit. And they call themselves the elite for a reason. Yeah, big facts. You know what I'm saying? Hey, really hey, good job from that t-shirt company. As of this recording, it has been three years to the day that Cody uh, was released, uh, requested and granted his release from WWE. Oh, you don't want to be starting us anymore? Fine, you can leave. What else are you going to do? Oh. And look, <laughs> and look what he's gearing up for this weekend. The biggest fucking show of his life. Let's get it, man. Double another predictions. Public Enemies Podcast presents. Tron, let's go. Let's get it, man. Let's get into let's the, the first order of business, the pre-show, the buy-in. Two matches. The first one, we're going to go Kip Sabian and Sammy Guevara. Ooh. Um, Yo, anybody named Kip, I'm going with. I'm going with Sammy. Excuse me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Sammy on this one too. I'm going with Sammy. You don't matter what you about to do. This is Sammy. Uh, let me go ahead and take note of these. Oh, yeah, we'll write these down. We'll let Tron. We'll, we'll let Tron think um, his uh, vote counts this time. You know, this is a tiebreaker. It's like giving your little brother, <laughs> like giving your brother the control. Like, yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah, you playing? Yeah, yeah. take the second controller, nigga. Yeah, you. <laughs> Can't stand it, huh? <laughs> My bad, blood. You said, yeah, you playing? Yeah, you playing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just did that dunk, little nigga. Yeah. Oh, man. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, you got the special controller. Your shit got six buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Big shit, man. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, um, I'm predicting in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tron prediction be better than ours. Yeah, it's for sure not going to count. Nigga, what? why would it? Like, oh hell no! Nah. Oh, this thing, he he just don't want it us. Nope, this is our time breaker, Graham. For sure is. You ain't got shit to do with this. All right, let's go, Kip. <laughs> going Kip. And Sammy. CJ. Yep, going Kip all day. All right, I'm going Sammy. CJ, Kip, Graham, Sammy. Okay. All right, let's 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 keep it a rolling. Let's keep it quick, fast. And a rolling. Yeah, uh, man, the Casino Battle years. Royale. Uh, winner receives a uh, opportunity to go against the winner, Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho, uh, for a shot at the AEW World Championship. Um, the announced participants are Sonny Kiss, Brandon Cutler, Ace Romero, Glacier, Brian Pillman Jr., Sonny Days, uh, MJ... M- MJF, Joey Janela, Dustin Thomas, Billy Gunn, Jimmy Havoc, Michael Nakazawa, Jungle Boy, Isaiah Cassidy, Mark, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, Mark, is it Mark Queen, Mark Quinn, I don't know, uh, Luchasaurus, uh, <laughs> okay, time out, hold on, time out, right there, I think we got our winner, <laughs> I think I know who I'm picking. I think, I think, I think, I think Graham just has to say one thing. You niggas shitted on the Viking Raiders. You niggas shitted on the Viking experience. You niggas shitted on the Kabuki Warriors. That was pretty terrible, though. I heard that they picked that one they sell, though. I heard that they was like, no, nigga, we want to be the Kabuki Warriors. That's us. If you're going to put us together, we're picking the name. Um, I don't know how true that is because I don't know shit. We're not insiders like that. We're just fans and we like talking shit. Yeah, we're not Kidman. <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> shit, we're not even Kip. Uh, <laughs> For real. <laughs> shit. Kip, Kip's in the battle world. He's pulling double duty. 
Hey, uh, you better book yourself to win, nigga. I want to see you fighting Chris Jericho in a, in a Time uh, Machine man. Year 2000 match. Billy Gunn, Mr. Ass versus Chris Jericho for the AEW uh, uh, World Championship. They'll throw, they'll throw tomatoes in the ring. And, uh, fucking, uh, <laughs> they'll throw tomatoes at them niggas. Jesus fucking Christ. Not that Chris Jericho, though. It'll be all at him. You niggas shitted on all of that shit, man. Fucking Luchasaurus? And y'all gonna let Luchasaurus rock? I don't hear nobody saying nothing about how fucking stupid the name Luchasaurus is. Like, what the fuck is that? Hey, bro, I can't even read this and not laugh. <laughs> Lucha so Look, hey, man, check this out. I don't got nothing against the performer, nothing against the guy. I'm not talking about the talent. Some people seem to get it misconstrued when I brought this up. Ooh. I'm not talking about the talent when I say how trash this shit is. Talk about the name. I'm talking about the name <laughs> itself and the name alone. The name is trash. Luchasaurus, Luchasaurus is trash. That's damn near borderline racist. The Viking experience was trash. The Viking Raiders is trash. I'll even give it to you. The Velveteen Dream is not that fucking great of a name. It's just that you have a black... A black ninja in training that's just making it sound great. Cool. Yeah. You feel me? You got somebody that's going to take the take the name and, and say, fuck it. The character and the work that I put in it is going to be more important than what the name exemplifies or whatever you might think of it or whatever. I'm going to make cool. you love this name. That's great. That's great and dandy and all. I completely understand that. You can have that perspective. And I can also have the perspective to tell you that that shit is completely Fucking trash. Yeah, that shit is, that shit is trash. Stupid. That shit is stupid. All but. right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Back back to the participants. Hey, Luchasaurus has to be the it's last trash. one. Luchasaurus is probably really fucking dope. Uh, I've seen like some of the Lucha Underground shit and like a little bit of the indie shit. Like, all right, cool. You do your thing. I'm not mad. I'm just saying. The name sucks. What was that nigga from LAX? Probably is that nigga in the mask. Hernandez, her Hernandez in the mask. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who else is in the, who uh, else man. is in the battle royal? Uh, Sean Sean Spears, formerly known as Ty Dillinger. Yeah, and um, <laughs> Mr. Peyton Royce. Yeah, those are those are the announced participants. So how many is that for the battle royale? How many is that? Can you count those out? Um, how many is that? let's see. That's one, two, three, four. Okay. Because you're supposed to be twenty-one. That's like eighteen right there. So they're coming in in in, uh, in waves of four, four groups, which each are represented by um, each of the what is it called the the playing cards like the oh like the like the, the club the, the, club, the diamond the, hearts, the heart yeah. spades mm-hmm. suit okay. yeah suit yeah bam so they're coming in waves of four and then whoever draws the Joker card out of the deck. Um, They've been giving people different cards and shit, uh, decks to pull pull their pull their card, pull their number. Um, whoever pulls the Joker is lucky number twenty one, and they come in last, dead last. So I like the concept of this battle royal. It's, it sounds dope. I hope that they can execute this motherfucker pretty fucking dope. And um, yeah, man, who do we think is gonna win? Who do we think is gonna win? Give me the participants one more time, John. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you guys the participants. It is Sunny Kiss, Brandon Cutler, Ace Romero, Glacier, Brian Pillman Jr., Sunny Days, MJF, Joey Janela, Dustin Thomas, Billy Gunn, Jimmy Havoc, Michael Nakazawa, Jungle Boy, Isaiah Cassidy, and Mark Queen, aka Private Party, Luchasaurus, Sean Spears. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that um, it's clearly fucking seems glacier. almost not fair. Yeah, Joey Ryan is gonna be in it, so <clears throat> go ahead and add Joey Ryan. I bet you he's gonna be in it somehow. <laughs> I I wouldn't disagree with that. We're probably gonna have a Hangman Page signing in this too. <laughs> I am going to say. I don't know. I want to pick with my heart, but I'm gonna pick with my head. I feel like it's gonna be somebody. I feel like it's gonna be somebody that's not in the the match yet. 
I feel, I feel like it's going to be somebody that's not in that shit. I feel like it's going to be Hangman Page. I'm going to be pissed off. But I'm, gonna pick, I'm picking Jimmy Havoc. I, you know, I almost went that route. Because getting Jimmy Havoc was a really gotta, big deal. Some, something to keep in mind, the winner of this is going to go against the winner of Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho to determine the AEW World Champion. See, that's kind of why I don't want to pick Jimmy Havoc because I, I'm going to... All right, so check this out. Fuck it. I'm going to roll with you on that one. You're going Jimmy Havoc? I'm going to pick Jimmy Havoc even though he's not going to win. Yeah. I wasn't going to pick MJF. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was going to pick Jungle Boy because, you know. He's not going to win at all. He's for sure not going to win. I thought they would give him like the, oh, you know. (laughs) I like Jungle Boy. I like him too. I don't even know. That nigga said, uh, that nigga told Lucha Soros, he said, hey, you can talk. (laughs) He said, yeah. What you talking about? I got a master's degree. What's your excuse? (laughs) <laughs> see, see, oh, see. Man. I, I can, I can still, I can, I can, I can be open and 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 still admit that they had a funny moment, and I'm not against the actual talent of the character. He made me fucking laugh. You know, it's possible yeah. to hate something's name. It's possible to hate something. It's possible to not like a part of something that you like. You know. It's possible to like something and hate a part of that. You as much I mean? hating as wrestling fans, I was probably giving you shit about that, do about everything mm-hmm. wrestling involved. I would have just LOL that nigga and sent them the mellow shrug. Like, right, Arr. exactly. You feel me? I'm hey, like, yo, yeah. I don't like the name. Sorry. Nigga, exactly. Like, nigga, I don't like that shit. I, I think the name is fucking stupid. It's fucking ridiculous. It's trash. Sorry. That's, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Um, but uh, even though he's not gonna win, Jimmy had it. Yeah, I was gonna say Joey Janela or MJF. MJF is definitely not gonna win this. I think him and Jungle Boy are gonna eliminate <laughs> each other. Sean, who you got? Even though know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, man. I'm going to go with MJF just because I like the guy. That nigga said, fuck Sean Spears. <laughs> 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 that nigga did a fucking back hey, to the pool and held up the table like, ha fuck Sean Spears. Bro, that was some, <laughs> bro, that was, bro, that was, that was funny as hell, man. That was hella funny. That was hell. that fuck Sean Spears, like the timing on it, it was great, man. It was great. And, and just for that, I hope that he wins. I hope that he wins, but um, I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna. All right, hold on really quickly. All right. Um, Who did Tron pick? Tron picked MJF. He picked MJF? Tron picked MJF. All right, so next match. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So that's a that's a, a pre show wrap up. Uh, let's talk about this. The best friends, uh, Chucky e. T and Trent Beretta, in a tag team match against and and Je- I don't know I don't know if I'm pronouncing and this right. And Helico and Helico and Jack Evans against uh yeah the best friends um. I am going with Angelico and Jack Evans. And I'm going best friends. I fucks with Trent Beretta. Tell you by my best friend. I like the best friend. Right. <laughs> I like them too. I think they're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that 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 settles the score there. You didn't make uh, your pick. Next match up, John. You didn't make your pick. Six one. Oh, I said the best friends. Best oh, friends. okay, okay, cool. One hundred percent. Damn. Man. Uh, he, he, you didn't fucking um, say who your pick was, nigga. You sang the fucking song. <laughs> it helped. <laughs> oh, you always do weird shit like that in between picks, nigga. I don't know what the fuck you say. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> fuck me. 
All right, y'all got to help me out with this one. All right, cool. Six woman tag match. Woof. Aja Kong. Uh, Yuka Saka Zaki. Saka Zaki. Saka Zaki. Uh, okay, there we go. Hikaru uh, Shida, Riho, and hey, look, that looks like Ryo. Ryo Mizunami. Yep. Rio, yeah. Rio Mizunami. Hikaru Shida. Aja Kong. There we go. I'm going Sakazaki. Whatever team that got Aja Kong on it, I'm going with her because she's the only one I know. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna have to agree with you there <laughs> because I, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Aja Kong. I see her dog on uh, the plays, and she looking exactly the same, so she got to win. I just yeah, I think they need I think they need uh they need heels in the women's division. And, uh, oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I think she could be that. Hey, Brandy Rhodes looking at no one hates the other one. Like, just hold on, you're coming home. That's funny. She's gonna be her Kenny Omega. Now all right, team. we all picked uh, Aja, Aja Kong, Kong Yuka Sakazaki, and uh, Imi Sakura. All right, cool. Yep. Speaking of speaking of women, next match. Uh, what do they call them? This triple threat: Britt Baker, Nyla Rose, and Kylie Ray. I'm going with Mrs. Bebe. Hmm. The dentist. <laughs> going with the dentist. Okay, let me take that. The dentist, Bebe. Tron. I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with Kylie Ray. Okay. Damn, I didn't want to bet on black, but I'm going with Britt Baker. Hey. This is this is where you. Uh, okay. This this is where you get your uh, this is where you get your Charlotte Flair. You get your your Sasha Banks. You get your uh, you get your Daniel Bryan. You get your Seth Rollins. You get your flagship. You get your. You know what I'm saying? You get your El Capitan. She was the um the little announcement, like, yeah, the first woman that we're signing yeah. is the dentist Britt Baker. Yeah. 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 I'm going with, I'm going with the dentist. Yeah, she's gonna be she's gonna be their Zion. Britt Baker is AEW's version of Zion Williamson. Dang, like that. We don't need to make a we need to make a meme. Don't be the Pelicans. We gotta make a meme. Britt Code. Baker. We need Britt Baker and Zion side by side. I'll work on that. Like, is not dating Adam Cole, baby. <laughs> Does not know how to do a suplex and land it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Couldn't even sell a knee injury right after he blew out his shoe. Two for Britt Baker and one for Kylie Ray. Right. Golly Ray, all right. Next matchup, another six-man tag team match. Of course. SCU versus the Stronghearts. I don't even know how to pronounce that with one dude's name. Was it Sima? Sima? Sima. Sima, T-Hawk, and Linda Man? Yeah, man. Uh, Linda Man. Yeah, there we go. Lindeman, Linda Lindeman, um, Lindeman. Um, Maybe the A is silent. It could be Lindeman. Anyways, nonetheless, are, are they SCU, from, Strong are, Hearts, six man tag match. Are they from OWE? They're from AAA, right? They are. They're from OWE? Or? Oh, yeah, OWE. OWE. I'm going with them. Ooh. I think it's, I think it's okay for SCU to lose here. I think you're right, but I'm not going with that. I feel you. Because. <laughs> Because the wrestler formerly known as the Fallen Angels on that team. Anything he's doing, I'm with. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go strong hearts on this one. Oh, who? Oh, yeah. The mother news. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's put T O N. Them, Them other niggas. niggas. <laughs> 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 ah, that's funny. Feel me? All right, there we go. Next match. Bang. Um, yeah, the next match on the card is um, for the AAA World Tag Team Championship. Um, 
the challengers, the Lucha Bros, and the champions, the Young Bucks. Okay. Going to Lucha Bros. Lucha Bros on that one. Are the Lucha Bros officially under contract with AEW? I don't think so. They're 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 the real definition of independent contractors. Right. Yeah. The niggas is like, yeah, yeah, uh, I mean, you know, we, hey, look, we might do that show. I mean, we drew eight million in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? That was cool. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That was cool. But you didn't do that without us. Well, nigga, you didn't do that without us. Right. Motherfucker. <laughs> The Lucha Bros are definitely winning. Nobody would have been watching. They, they did a counter offer like Dak Prescott. Yeah, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Though. I told them our super kicks are more valuable than their um their need to be there. We'll keep their titles and defend them against <laughs> SoCal Unlimited. That's fine. You'd really be mad then. Yeah, yeah. I suggest you do come up here and do business. Nah, pretty sure they got a good relationship. Got to. We're gonna team up to beat the bad guy up. Are they having another match? <laughs> Is there another match planned between them pretty soon? There has to be. Pretty soon? Um I saw somebody so, say that they're they're scheduled to have a they're scheduled to have a, another match like a month like a month from now. So I wonder if that's also for the triple A tag titles. The Lucha Bros or the Bucks? Hmm. Lucha Bros versus the Bucks. Are they supposed to do it again? You draw eight million Viewers on a regular ass TV show, uh, yeah, we're gonna do this more than five times. <laughs> I'm going to go with. Hey, I'll... Wait, who'd go you ahead. pick? You picked Lucha Bros? Yeah, I picked the Lucha Bros. Sean, who'd you pick? Lucha Bros. Lucha Bros. I'm going Bucks. And over under super kicks. I'm going between the both teams. Right. I'm going, I'm going 87. <laughs> That could be the tiebreaker of the tiebreaker. That's funny. The closest number to I'm over under eighty seven. That's funny. That's why I'm picking. Oh, that's gonna be my favorite match of the night, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the super kicks is gonna be so ridiculous. <laughs> I already know it's gonna be I love the Bucks so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Shout out to Generation Me. That's funny. All right, cool. Next match. Next match, Cody versus Dustin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Cody versus Dustin. I'm going Dustin. The battle of the second generation roads. I'm going the natural. I'm going Stardust. Okay. Stardust gets one. I'm going Dashing. Nope. <laughs> I think the coaster is going to fucking pull his Triple H moment. Okay. And make himself the champ. Hey, look. Hey, bro. Glad you're here. Right. We'll give you some pyro. Give you some pyro for sure. You can get some pyro. We're going to get out here. She's going to be looking up at the lights. We're going to get out here. We're going to make. Our father proud. Here we go. Tron, who you got? I'm going to say Gold Dust. All right, here we go. Next match. You going the natural? Yeah, two for Dustin, one for Cody. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. The about next this. match and the main event the main of the main evening. Main. Is it? Shit, it is now. Oh, well, shit. Hey, man. All right, yeah, go ahead. And then we'll ask that question after. Go ahead. Alpha versus Omega 2. Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega. The winner to be going along to go up against the winner of the Casino Battle Royal to determine who will be the next or the first AEW World Champion. Jericho versus Omega. Ernie. <laughs> Kenny Omega and, and Chris, Je- Christopher Christopher Je- Christopher Jericho. That's not Christopher Jericho. They go they go have a good match. Oh, uh, winner! Yeah, winner goes on to the finals to to see who's gonna be the first ever AEW champion, as we already mentioned there. Um, 
Oh, Kenny, Kenny Omega is gonna win. I'm as as much as I would want to. I want to go with Chris Jericho. I mean, excuse me. As much as I want to go, well, I just gave it away there. As much as I want to go with Kenny Omega, I'm gonna pick Chris Jericho. <laughs> Chris Jericho. <clears throat> he just keeps hanging. Just, just, he just keeps doing shit. But just, just the, what is it? Wrestling's Cal Ripken. Just, just <laughs> timeless and ageless. <laughs> <laughs> just never gets out of style. Like, hey, remember the time we saw Chris Jericho? Didn't like, you call somebody else Cal Ripken like last week or earlier today? <laughs> it was probably Chris Jericho. <laughs> No, it was Chris Jericho. Actually. Yeah, Christopher Jericho. Christopher Jericho. Ernie, he like Cal Ripken. He like LeBron. He, Kobe Bryant. LeBron James is like Cal Ripken, who's like Chris Jericho. Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> Jericho. You Pick say Kenny Omega. All right, there we go. And Tron. I'm gonna go with the cleaner. Ooh. All right. Did he still call himself that? Yes, it's on the AEW roster page. Damn right. I might be making that up. Damn right. <laughs> All right. So we got two for Kenny Omega, one for Chris Jericho. Cody wants to kill the Attitude Era. I think he's going to uh, fail. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Um, so by the a, way, just, yeah. by the way, you are not making that up. He is the cleaner on the AEW roster. Boom, you bitch! I also noticed that they took Conrad Thompson off the AEW website as well. He's not listed anymore. Yes, they did. Even though, wink, wink, we get it. Um, before we before we close out here, uh, two things. Do we see a Pac sighting, and do we see a debuting John Moxley? <clears throat> I need to see Moxley at the end, like whatever. Like the last thing that we need to see is Moxley, and that would be a. I think that would be the perfect way to come in. That'd be a hell of a cliffhanger. Oh shit! Especially after how All In ended. I know Cody and. And then the Bucks learned their lesson a little bit. Nah, yeah, that, seriously. Bro, that timing, bro. That, <laughs> yeah. that, bro, them niggas, they, hey, you know what? That might have spawned spinny kicks and flippy shit. Because them niggas was like, look, we got three minutes, all right? All right, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Get all your shit in. <laughs> look, uh, and Cody, let's go home. <laughs> Cody celebrated a little too long in the ring after the NWA championship. So. Nobody told Okada and Marty to go six minutes longer than we told them to go. So, look, boom. Five super kicks, all right? Right out the gate. Soon they say ding, ding, super kick, super kick. School's in, bitch. <laughs> yeah, man. So um, I, I agree with you. I I, I don't know. I mean, because I don't know shit. Like I, like I keep saying, bro, we don't know shit. But um, I want to see John Moxley. I would like to see him show up. I think, that is, I think they need more names. They need more... You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I want them to get more more WWE cast offs or you feel me, people that are disgruntled or whatever, but I do th- th- think that they need a little bit more juice. You know what I'm saying? For for going into going into this whole, you know what I'm saying, fall season of actual weekly programming. Yeah, but this this but they're not even getting cast offs anymore. They're getting people asking for their releases. Yeah, damn, that's big shit. <laughs> you're right. Like, I want to no, go over there. No, you're, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. That's like demanding the trade. Like, you got a whole lot of Anthony Davis over right. there. Like, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. Dean Ambrose, Anthony Davis, D A A D. I'm just saying. Jedi mind tricks. Yes. Tron, you think we see Pac? John Moxley, Jody Meeks. I think Pac shows up to have the match, and I think John Moxley will be a part of the Casino Battle Royal. It's only right. And when Pac comes in the Battle Royal, wins that shit, and beats Kenny Omega after he beats up Chris Jericho, and then becomes the first AEW champion. Now he has a double champ champ. <laughs> now you got to sign on the dotted line, motherfucker. Well, they're not doing that match. That uh, they're not doing that match same night, but. Fuck it. Somebody gotta get the bill. Right. <laughs> Tonight. This nigga that already pulled out so, yeah, they're 33 gonna, and they're 130%. Gonna, yeah, display the title and then da 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 da. Y'all get to get this next time with the G1 Supercard. 
AEW IWGP uh, mix up. We <laughs> invented the remix. Oh, <laughs> uh, special guest host Diddy, uh, Mario Wynans. <laughs> fuck Yo. it. Niggas is back. Stevie J. All right. Well, oh, fuck no. it. <laughs> Join us next time. God, it was just Biggie's birthday. <laughs> Join us. It really was. Yeah. Rest in peace to Biggie. All the shit. All the shit. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah. There you go. Joey Janela. The bad boy. <laughs> Joey Janela is going to win the uh, uh, Casino Battle Royale in Biggie's honor. There we go. I just figured it out. Can I change my pick to Joey Janela? Absolutely. I'm changing my pick to Joey Janela. God damn it. Watch, Even, him, watch him win, too. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't think he's going to win. Just like I don't think Jimmy Havoc is going to win. That's why I know. That's but in honor about. of Biggie, I'm going to go ahead and pick Joey Janela. Watch him win because of that, too. Bad boy. Bad boy, baby. Don't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. All right. Join us next week. Hope you enjoy Double or Nothing. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing... Uh, NXT TakeOver predictions. I will be defending the honor of the public enemy number one once again. Not going to win. I'm like, win. We're, we're tied right now. All right? I'm a winner. You're tied right now. I'm a winner. No, you're tied with, with the winner. Yeah, but who was the champion before we tied? Then why'd you tie with me then? Because I'm a winner. Dog, then I'm a winner too if we tied? Whatever, bro. <laughs> That's not. I'm actually taking a break. Because, uh, yeah, if I wanted to win, I could just, you know, like the white rock strike at any time. Oh, I like that. Even though you're going to lose, too. Yeah, Damian Triller. Ooh, all right, all right. And so no check consolation us out. prizes I, in the I, public I, enemy, number one. Not at all. There's no 24-7. Oh, there is one 24-7 champion, and it is me. All right? All right. Now that we've established that. But we're tied. <sighs> all right, so double or nothing. <laughs> right hit me directly if you want to if you don't want to you ain't got to add on my guy Graham uh, CJ you can tell him how to hit you hit me at yeah that's me yeah underscore that's underscore me so with two e's with- there you go and uh Tronathan Coachman Trying to coach me here, you can reach me at Brian Tronic cross platform. Uh, interact with me, tweet with me, talk with me. It'll be fun. All right, and follow the show at The Enemies POD. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, hit up publicenemiespodcast.com to stay up to date with everything that's going on. And of course, additional information um, on the rebrand of the, the motherfucking show. The motherfucking shit. Season three. Ooh, on a bitch. The new generation. Ooh. Season three. Season three. Ooh, the we'll come better back. Win. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a motherfucking finals MVP. Well, there you go. There you fucking go. Season three. This is gonna start with the Kobe and Steph Curry talk with Tron. Mm, I like that. There we go. Back talk. Join she us next that. time. I- and we'll catch you motherfuckers dead. Hey, man. Peace. Peace. Peace.